Welcome back to another VMAX Start video. Uh, this is just a brief outline for the um, deluxe DIY supercharger kit fitting of this cast component to the M65 supercharger. Uh, so one of the first things you'll need to do if you're running a brake servo is drill a hole in the end for a suitable brake servo fitting. There's one I've done earlier. Uh, just it's easier to drill if you've uh, milled a flat on it, but if it's a taper fitting, you could just drill straight into the casting. And that's just got a small six mil hole through, uh, just so it doesn't draw too much air from the supercharger inlet for the brake servo. Uh, once you've taken the supercharger casing apart, you'll end up with a piece like this that has this section attached to it. So that's cut off with a hacksaw. Just to remove that section. And then what I'll do is roughly mill out what needs to be done here. So that's just making sure that's flat. This area here is flat and the inlet port is slightly bigger. Um, these are about 22 mil from the edge of here to here and that fits in this recess on the top. Um, the next stage after that is to smooth off these surfaces, radius this edge here and generally deburr. I tend to use a angle grinder with a flat disc in it. Uh, while the flat disc is new, you get a nice square edge here, which is good for in on this area. And then I'll just radius around the edges and rock it backwards and forwards so that I get a nice radius for the casting section to mate up with. That fits on there like that. Then the front section this piece is secured with a single bolt down through there uh, draw a line across the bottom of the two bearings and drill a hole in the middle countersunk and that's tapped m8 straight in the bottom of there and then two more holes in the top m6 uh, using these two button head screws supplied go down into this top section of the casting. And then that's all held together with um, Terrison PU92 sealant, which is fuel proof. Uh, if you're fitting a Weber Type 45 carburetor on, uh, then this area here will just need to be opened up to clear the butterflies. Uh, if it's on a, an MGB kit which just uses the 45, this will have already, already have been modified for you. Uh, if you want this section converted, um, then email me. Uh, I can do that for you if you've bought the DIY kit. This is the sealant, Terrison PU92. Uh, as I say, that's fuel proof. Uh, and then that will be applied to uh, across the bridge here, single line along the inside, down the edges, round and over the two bearings. And then the top section will be put on, bolts in place, and then just check that it's sealed completely all the way around. Um, and that is that section, obviously it needs to be cleaned. These are just um, test castings. Um, before you want to do the final clean, you want to pull those bearings out and replace them. Um, also, in previous videos, you can see this surface has been machined. Uh, if you look at the previous video of how to modify your supercharger, uh, normally take about four millimeters off the whole of this face. Drill these four mounting points out from, I think they're M7 in standard form, drill them out and tap them to M8. Uh, to use with the manifold that I supply and also I drill a small M6 
or tap M6 hole on that side of the casing for vacuum advance and reading a boost gauge. And that is it. Thanks for watching.